Hi guys, and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, the 4th of August, 2020. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck for today's reading. Let's choose three cards here to see what the tarot wants you to be aware of on Tuesday, the 4th. What energy you'll be working with, how you can make the most of the day. What's coming up in future here. And what do you need to know? Three of Wands. Okay, so feeling like you're being held back in some way. The King of Rods. Demanding that you move forward, whatever the price. It's your right. So it's the sense of entitlement. So there's conflict there. And then the King of Cups. Soothing everything and cooling things down. That's good. All right. So first of all, the presence of court cards is always this energy of a particular person, so a really loving person, a really nurturing and open and non-judgmental kind of person, and then someone who's really alpha, someone who's really um, interested in competing and trying to get his way and looking at things he cares about in life, having fun, being able to lead others. So that leadership and that coolness and that clarity are brought in together and both of them influence you or it can come across as these are figures and people you meet in your life so meeting him is a really positive experience i mean he comes with love and and um, care so he's not a negative experience and the king of rods isn't either the king of rods is someone who unless you know he's trying to um influence you in some way the king of rods is on his own mission he's uh, looking at achieving something particular, he's setting goals, he's energized and looking for his own happiness. So whichever way you experience this, it's a positive kind of um, combination. And then the three of ones is fire as well. And when the card is this way around, it's about where am I going to go? What am I going to do with my future? What's my life about? What's what's my purpose here? How can I light up my life? How can I make things amazing for myself and other people? And it's my time to choose and to go out into the desert and to see what I can add to the barren landscape. And with it being upside down, there's no start. There's a sense of it's not my time to make things happen. I have to kind of wait and watch the leaves grow here so it's like watching paint dry so there may be a sense of frustration or spinning your wheels and that you need to get things done that there's this huge drive to move forward but things are blocking you the king of rods is looking at that and he's saying no you don't need to be blocked we've got the solution it's doing what it is you love and realizing that that is the kind of spiritual truth of what you're going through right now. Energy is trying to make its way through you and out into the world. We've got more desert here. And the King of Rods is saying it's a spiritual experience having this energy that's urging you to progress and to find your purpose and to ask, what is it I am supposed to be doing with my life? So the King of Rods almost turns this card back around and says, actually, do choose, do look at what you're going to do, but you're going to have to find a different way of moving your life forward than you usually would. So if you usually would um, go to the council, local council and put up a notice for services you're offering, or if you um, would usually be moving at this time of year or going on a trip, because it's the summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and now you feel like you can't do that. The King of Rods is saying, don't give up on doing the thing you love and care about. Find a different way of making it happen. The three is still there. So the doorway, the new beginning, you trying to connect with the world in some meaningful, fun way is still there. But... If you do get frustrated in the sense of, I can't go on a trip or I can't start something that I want to, find a different way of articulating that and find a new way of starting that. It's still possible. And that's what the cards are encouraging you to do, to make a fresh start here, to put yourself 
in the spotlight, in the limelight, and to say, this is something I care about. I've done this before. This is something that brings me joy and brings other people joy. And it's something I'm going to see through, regardless of what the obstacles are. It's like Leo. It, this is the sun. We've got this kind of eagle shape on his helmet there. It's about freeing yourself and saying, this is something that I need to share with the world. Okay, so these two things are um, really, really fiery. It's about asserting yourself. It's putting yourself out there. It's a natural confidence boost. The King of Cups is a nice kind of addition here. First of all, we've got these two men kind of looking away from one another, but there seems to be this strength between them. So really getting people in your life who you trust and who you know and who you can rely on, bouncing your ideas off other people is going to be really positive and will show you how to actually channel that energy into something practical. So that's a thing to look for. Who can I bounce my ideas off of? And then the King of Cups himself is someone who goes from the heart and who supports other people and is in love with the world and he's imaginative and creative and about love and connection and supporting other people. So any kind of heat that you're bringing and any kind of frustration or anger is really easily diffused by bringing someone you love into the picture to help you out to help you along with whatever it is you're doing. If you don't have a goal that you've set and that you're not spinning your wheels, you're not frustrated, great. At least you haven't got the frustration. But if you don't set a goal today and say, I am actually going to put myself out there in some sort of creative way or anything to do with work or me asserting my independence. So that's huge. I mean, that's anything from finding your own place to live, um, becoming financially independent. Those are really life-changing actions that you can take. Make sure that you don't let yourself be um, blocked by the obstacles that may be in your way, because any of those things are going to have obstacles. That's just part of the process. Rely on other people. The King of Cups can also represent your intuition, your connection with spirit. So if you're doing this by yourself, and you really want to make a change in your life and everything is saying, no, 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 don't do it. The cards are really saying, yes, please do. If you feel it, and if it's important to you, and if it's something that you're driven to achieve, then you absolutely have to, regardless of what other people are saying. If your connection with spirit is urging you to do this, then even better because and that's really interesting that the two kings are facing away from each other. It's almost like in meditation, they put their backs together and they can kind of hear what each other are thinking. If you have a spiritual connection and it's saying start your own business or look at houses to move, take the course at university that you're so passionate about, but that you've delayed for six years because of whatever, then that's really strong. That's really pushing you. And that's something that you can't really argue with because it's your own feelings. Who are you going to argue with? Yourself? Oh, you really want to do this. No, you don't. Okay, well, actually I do. That, so you can't kid yourself there. And it's really a day of making no excuses, having all the power available in the world to really break through some difficult obstacles that stand in your way, to assert yourself to do what it is you want to do, and to really have it backed up by what you believe spiritually, what you feel in your heart. So you're coming from a really authentic place. And when you do that, you can't really be stopped or argue because it's your experience. It's like, okay, dad, you don't want me doing this job, but I really feel it in my bones that I need to do it. What's dad going to say? No, you don't. <laughs> well, okay, thanks for the contribution, but my bones are still urging me to continue with this and to make it happen. So this is the kind of purest kind of motivation that you can have. And number wise, one and one is two and three is five and five in numerology is freedom. So this motivation and this push and this power that you have inside of you, combined with this clarity of this is what I feel, it's what I believe in my heart and in my soul, 
That's what makes you unstoppable. And even though things may seem unavailable to you, new doors opening, because the card is upside down, it's really about new beginnings and making those doors happen for yourself and those doors open for you. So have an amazing day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share it online, please. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.